I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me Q&A style. Um, I decided to switch it up because you guys have been asking for me to do an updated Q&A. So here I am answering all your questions. We're going to be doing our makeup, our hair. I am stepping out tonight, you know, making a little food, a little drink. So I'm doing a little, I look ready. Don't I look ready? I look like the entree. Anyway, so before we get into this video, I need to plug y'all in. I want to just say shout out to JBW for sponsoring this video. I'm going to plug you guys in because the holidays are coming up. Black Friday is coming up. So like you guys are probably wondering where to shop. And a lot of you guys always ask me about my JBW watch. Tasha, do you love your JBW watch? Tasha, do you? Yes, I wear it all the time. You will always see this. If I'm out and about if i'm running out i'm wearing my jbw if i'm going out out i'm wearing my jbw watch this one specifically is my favorite this is the crystal 28 it is so nice it is just so like sleek and timeless it's the perfect size it's not too big it fits perfectly like this watch is definitely a staple so in addition to this early access black friday sale you guys also are able to use my code to get some extra money off now is the time to get the watch and i highly 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 recommend it jbw has so many styles of watches for you to choose from like i said this one has personally been my favorite out of the few that i do have this one is just it's just so luxe it's so timeless i really feel like you guys need to indulge into this luxury piece because let me tell you it elevates your look so much literally i'm like i don't need a watch i don't need a watch but when i wear a watch i just feel so important i feel like people are like looking at me watching me people literally be like oh my god your watch is so nice like a watch is one of those pieces that really stand out now is the best time to indulge in a jbw watch if you've been thinking should you get one should you not you should this is the best time to indulge into like a luxury piece i'm telling you guys a watch elevates your look so much let alone the jbw it's just so like timeless it looks so sleek it looks so like rich and luxe like when i wear this people literally be like oh my god your watch is so nice they're like oh my god, oh my god. i'm like yeah you know you know it's giving and you guys know um jbw is made with swarovski crystals and it has 12 real diamonds in the timepiece as well so once again make sure you guys are checking out the description box down below so you guys can shop and get this watch for black friday as well you do not want to miss this and also use my code too so now that we got that out the way, make sure you guys are shopping with JBW this holiday. Like I said, I could be wearing the most simple outfit. You see what I'm saying? Like today, and it just kind of, boom, makes it look pop. Okay, so that's enough of that. Once again, thank you so much, JBW, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get into these questions. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. All right, guys, so we're going to get straight into this video, and I'm excited because we're doing a little Q&A today. Um, this was very spur of the moment. This was not even on my agenda. I feel like that's when I have the most fun with my content. So I'm going to kind of be getting ready. Um, so I was like, I might as well answer some questions as I do my makeup today and my hair and stuff. We'll see where exactly this video is going. Get ready with me wise. But this is mainly going to be focused on questions. Okay. So let me grab some products and let's get into it. So all products will be listed and linked below because I'm going to be talking and answering questions. So I don't want to keep talking and stopping and talking about products. So any products will be linked below. I'm going to just be doing a regular look. So yeah, and my brows and wig is already on. All right. So let's take a look at this first question. So I'm going to try to answer these questions somewhat in order um, as far as like I'm just going to kind of section it from like um let me see what like YouTube questions makeup artist questions and then like personal questions and anything random so I'm going to start off with YouTube -y questions All right, so first question this is an easy one are you going to start doing mini tutorials on Instagram um Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, I do want to get into the reels and all that. I, okay, I don't want to say probably not, 
but I just have to figure out a way to do that. And I know somebody's first suggestion is going to be like, well, when you record on YouTube, just do a reel or do a TikTok. But like, you don't want to keep seeing the same look over and over. So if I'm filming for YouTube, I'm filming for YouTube. I'm filming, filming for reels. I'm filming, you know what I'm saying? So I already do so much content and upload so frequently. It's like, I don't really have time to add another task, but I am working on it. It has been suggested and recommended for me to grow on instagram so we'll see how that goes it's not honestly it's not on my schedule right now but it's like one of those things in the back of my head like that i should do so yeah so i know i said i wasn't really going to talk about products like that but i just got a new foundation well, it's not new but this is the morphe foundation but i got the shade 28 uh rich 28 one of you guys suggested this shade so hopefully it's a perfect match because the other ones are so red so this is the foundation that I'm going to be using today but anyways the next question is what are some challenges that you have being a content creator and makeup artist so the only challenge honestly that I face is oh, I need to find a brush almost forgot to color correct but anyways so my biggest um, challenge with balancing both is that I feel like I don't have enough time I always feel like I am uh, all over the place and I'm working on that I've actually gotten a lot better so that's the only thing I just feel like I'm one person doing a lot of things you guys have to realize like I do makeup full-time and I do YouTube full-time so I put my all into both so it's like I'm constantly being pulled from one end to the next if I don't post for a week I have people DMing me like oh my god where's the video where's the video if I don't um, go to work or I take some time off I have people saying Tasha I need you I need you so it just becomes a lot sometimes so that's the only thing I wish I can like be both places at once but other than that like I'm just the kind of person that knows that things have to be done and I'm going to get it done so this is the thing so it's like I like to put my all into anything that I do and realistically like I don't like to slack but it's like if I'm doing really good on YouTube as far as like being consistent and blah blah I'm kind of slacking at work and if you guys see me slacking on YouTube that means that I'm most likely really focused on my clients so that's the only thing just balancing out time and um, doing everything on my own. Which brings me to my next question. Someone says, have you ever thought about expanding the glam next door and bringing in another artist? Yes, I have actually. That was on my to-do list. Like I don't really have like a timeline. I just know that there's things that I wanna get done and they have to be done. It could be a month's time, a year's time, five years time. But I definitely did have um, one of, that was one of my goals. Um, specifically for by the end of 2022, I wanted to bring on a makeup artist and kind of train them um and have them have them grow and work with me and all that kind of stuff because i also feel like that will most likely take a load off of me and the makeup artist department so that i can focus on this as well so um you know hopefully i've tried to work with people before and i haven't had much conflict but the issue is a lot of people don't believe in themselves. I hope that doesn't sound rude or mean. But a lot of people like fast stuff. Like you have to realize I've been doing makeup for like five years consistently. But I started doing makeup when I graduated high school. Like that was like what I started doing. So it's like been a journey, you know, a 10, 11 year journey. So it's like you have to take your time. You have to trust the process. You have to trust yourself. You have to be okay with the fact that some days you're not going to be booked up. You're going to have to be okay with like there might be an opportunity that comes and you might have to work for free. You have to be okay with a lot of things that are going to get you to a position where you're going to be comfortable and be able to call the shots. So I just have not met anybody or came across anybody that really is like I'm all in I'm willing to like take the journey and it just is what it is a lot of people that do um come up to me or ask me for help or anything they just want to be handed um they just want everything to be handed to them so it's kind of like they're like okay I know Natasha's a makeup artist she's always booked she has clients and don't get me wrong 
I will give you my, every single client, baby, okay? I'll give you every client, okay? I will give you as much as I can, but you have to work. Like, nothing's going to come to you. You have to realize that, like, you're going to have to work for things. There are going to be things that are going to make you uncomfortable. And a lot of people are just not ready for that. And, and with social media and um, everybody's, like, overnight success stories because you know everybody likes to promote this like overnight success they like to sell you a dream um a lot of people just want to like kind of hop on your bandwagon is what i'm basically saying and they don't want to work for it and not that i'm a selfish person or that i don't mind giving or helping but i mean you got to work for something so that's the only thing but you know since we're here if there's a makeup artist that's in atlanta that is up and coming and wants to really work and wants to kind of like um shadow me in a sense and and I'm not I'm willing to teach you and teach you all my tips and tricks and get you clients and get you going then you can reach out to me you guys know I'm really nice I talk to everybody um sometimes uh, um and I'm willing to help so yeah that's definitely my goal for the next year because I do do a lot of weddings as well and I need somebody like to always help me and when I say help I don't mean like oh you prep the face and i do no like we're gonna be tag teaming and both work be working so that is my goal i would love to build a team because as you can see my brand name is not it's not makeup by natasha it's the glam next door a lot of people even look at my page and think that there's multiple makeup artists and it's just me so my main goal is to build a team eventually so that was really dragged out, but yeah, to answer your question, okay? And that same person asked, a while back you stated makeup master classes were in the works. Is that still happening? Yes, it is still happening. And somebody else asked about um, if I was going to be offering online classes. I am, but you guys, let me tell you, I am very... I just can't get out of my head. Every time I film something and I'm getting ready to do it, if this phone drops one more time, I'm gonna go crazy. Um, I just am like, nope, it's not good enough because you have to realize I'm gonna be taking money from you guys. Like, I'm not saying I put out half-assed content, but if something's not perfect, like, it's whatever. YouTube is free, so like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking from anybody. It, it's just gonna look bad on my part, but I feel like when you're taking money for something and somebody's paying for something, it has to be perfect so that's like my biggest thing i'm like trying to perfect it and um yeah i'm starting off with in-person classes one-on-ones but i haven't been able to do that because my schedule does not allow that as you guys can see i only can do so many things okay i'm one person so um i want to do one-on-one -on -one classes in person and then eventually maybe like large things give me anxiety like talking in front of people so eventually maybe like master classes with groups of people and traveling but definitely I will be doing online master classes and they'll be very in-depth and not only will I be teaching you guys like the artistry part of being a makeup artist I want to give you guys the business part because I feel like a lot of people hold back on that and a lot of people just talk about like oh you're being a makeup artist you make money 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 quick money 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 and that's why a lot of people want to become makeup artists because they think it's quick quick money but you have to invest in yourself there's just so much more that goes into it so yeah I just want to be very thorough and in-depth and I want to give the information that I wish I would have known years ago before getting into this so yeah Somebody asked my business and YouTube goals for next year. Um, I really don't know. I just want to continue to grow and see where things go. Whenever I, I mean, I do have goals overall, but whenever I've specifically given myself like a time, it just feels like a race against an imaginary non-existent clock and it's very unnecessary. So I'm just going to continue to be consistent, continue to do what I'm doing and hopefully grow from that and just get better. I'm trying not to put too much product on my forehead because like I have a bang. <laughs> the next question is how did you stay motivated to do YouTube when you had zero subscribers? Um, it's something that I wanted to do so like it didn't matter if I had people watching me or not I was still gonna post and to be a hundred percent honest with you um, I feel like I was more comfortable when nobody was watching. When people tell you, yeah, girl, I watched your video. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, people actually watch me. Oh my gosh. Like it, it's, you know, people are watching, 
but when people actually like talk to you about watching you it's kind of like oh my goodness let me like crawl into a hole maybe that's just me because i'm a weirdo but yeah but i feel like when you genuinely want to do something and you enjoy something and it's like a passion you're not going to be focused on oh my god nobody's watching da -da 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 -da. no you're gonna you're gonna just do it like that's never been like obviously that is the end goal the end goal is to grow on this platform to have an audience and make money and all that fun stuff but you have to have a passion for it before anything so if you don't have a passion for it and your goal is just to be um youtube famous and make a check and blah 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 you're not gonna have fun again that is the goal you do want to get an audience and you do want to to have money from it but you're not gonna you're really not gonna enjoy yourself if that's all you're focused on so honestly I really made a YouTube because everybody kept telling me to do it because I told you guys I've been doing makeup for years so even before I started actually doing makeup as a makeup artist uh, I was always doing my own makeup you always start off doing your own makeup and people would be like um, oh my gosh like Tasha you can do your makeup so good which was actually trash looking back at it like if I could find some pictures of like my old makeup like oh my gosh I am gonna insert it somewhere in here okay but like it wasn't cute you know what i'm saying and people were really boosting me out and i was like girl you need to start a youtube you need to start a youtube and you know like youtube just became more like lifestyle personal type of stuff but when youtube first was out it was mainly like beauty especially like I don't know but it was like mainly beauty you know that's what everybody cared about the latest product launches who could do the the most dramatic glittery smoky eye that was what it was and that was what i was doing so yeah it's just kind of something that happened i guess <laughs> so next question so somebody asked did you ever feel self-conscious about starting youtube and yes yes i did um i was nervous because i feel like and let me know if I'm wrong. I feel like when you start something like this, people kind of like mock you in a way. You know what I'm saying? So it would be like, oh, I see you posted a YouTube video. And it's like, okay, bitch, did you comment, like, did you support? Or are you just have some, that's my phone that just dropped. Or do you have something nice to say? Are you going to be negative? Like, you know, like, I feel like people only take YouTube seriously now or support people now because they're realizing people are really monetizing off of this and living very great lives. So now they're like, yeah, like, that's so cool that you do that. But like before when I was starting a YouTube, it was like a, um, like, why do you always have your makeup done? Why da 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 da? Where are you going? Why are you recording? Da, 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 da. You know, like it was just like weird energy. And I'm just like, so for a long time, I didn't post on YouTube. I feel like if I had just ignored all that and just done my own thing, I could have been so much further because I did post on YouTube four or five years ago. But guess what? I posted one video and it was like you throw a rock and hide your hand. I was like, we're just going to see where this goes. But I just did not feel comfortable posting. I don't know. But, you know, there's a time for everything. I feel like now's my time. I'm definitely, um, I'm just more comfortable in myself overall. I don't care what anybody has to say about it um, or how they feel about it. So here we are. And that's all that matters what tips do you have for a small beauty channel to grow girl be consistent okay be consistent i know anybody who um acts that when you hear be consistent you're like Ugh. but like that's literally the formula like, you have to be consistent on this platform that is the formula okay i know people want like a secret crack code but like you have to be consistent like unless you just happen to like get viral overnight you have and even if you do if you if you post a video and you go viral and your video is 100k 200k whatever capitalize off of that post your next video post your next video keep that audience in, it, tuned in and keep it pushing like that's what you have to do like there's no there's literally no secret formula what i will say is Find content that you like to make instead of constantly. Okay, so it's kind of like contradicting, but let me tell you this. I need to keep moving. <gasps> I forgot to cream contour. See, that's why I don't like talking and doing all this. Uh -uh. Besides being consistent, I will say two more things. Find your niche. So if you know that you like beauty, stick to that. Like, don't try to venture out and be a food vlogger. 
um, just because oh that's trendy right now because you're gonna you're not gonna enjoy doing that you see what I'm saying um, or don't try to be a DIY if that's something that you don't do I'm just throwing things out there not saying that you can't expand your horizons but you have to stick to what you like but in the same breath and this is gonna be contradicting don't put yourself in a bubble so like for me I know that I can do more than makeup so like I started doing my hair I do vlogs I do recreations it's all kind of in the same um, um, thing but I have different things to offer people you know what I'm saying but I would definitely say find your thing that you enjoy doing that you look forward to recording like for me I love doing my celebrity recreations and I love doing get ready with me those are like my favorite kind of videos to do so I put my effort into those I look forward to filming those not that I don't enjoy doing my other content but just like when you have a job there's always that one task that you enjoy doing more than the others you know what I'm saying so I look at it like that so pretty much kind of map out what kind of content you want to put out or um, what direction you want to go and just go from there and see like what your audience um, um, reacts to engages to and likes and you know you'll, you'll see you will see girl you will see does YouTube this was a little different than the last time does YouTube make you feel self-conscious um sometimes <laughs> honestly yes um when you're constantly looking back at yourself like i see myself a lot i take pictures all the time i record all the time i look in the mirror all the time i'm always looking at myself so there are things that i kind of pick at myself about and i'm like Ugh, girl why do you look like that oh my gosh but like it's not to a point where like i hate myself like it's just like you know it is what it is um looks wise okay i'm just gonna keep it a buck with you because somebody gotta say it I think I'm a bad bitch, okay? Like, there are some things that can be changed, but just like, you know, we're all human. But overall, like, I don't think I'm ugly. I don't think I'm this. I don't think I'm that. So, like, looks-wise, no. But I have become more self-conscious. Conscience, ooh, dear, that word be messing me up sometimes. Literally, oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, so, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, like, I have become more aware of what I say and how I say it. My camera cutting off when I'm trying to, you know, give y'all the tea. But um, I'm more self-conscious about what I say and how I say it because I've noticed that like, if you guys watch, I, talk, I will talk a lot. I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to y'all. So like, I will talk a lot, right? So, um, and yeah, I'm talking to myself. So like, for me, there's kind of like no filter, but like, as I'm growing, and I'm noticing that certain people, I guess, expect certain things from me. I get judged for a lot of things that I say. Um, and a lot of things that I say get misconstrued. So, like, I can, like, be vlogging, right? And I can be like, dang, gas is expensive. And then, next thing you know, Tasha said that gas is expensive. She broke. Why would she get that car and she knows she can't put gas in her car? Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, is that not, like, do we all not look at gas prices and say dang or look at something and be like oh my god you know what i'm saying like to me that's just regular everyday stuff that's relatable stuff and then that comes into the whole influencers being relatable um topic because y'all pick and choose when you want things to be relatable things are only unrelatable when they're untouchable to y'all D does that make any sense? I hope that does not offend anybody or come off nasty, rude, whatever. But that's what it is because why would something so simple be misconstrued? Or like I'll be venting about like, oh my God, I had a bad day. My tire blew and then I lost my wallet and then this and that. Oh my God, Natasha, you complain so much. All you do is complain, complain. I'm like, do we not have bad days? And you have to realize like you want, you want influencers to post all the time you want influencers to um keep you updated with their lives but everything is not perfect every day is not going to be a great day i'm not going to wake up and be like oh my gosh look at look i'm not mr roger okay i'm not going to wake up like that every day that's just not realistic and i'm sure a lot of you guys don't wake up like that all the time i do try to you know stay positive and 
all that kind of stuff but like let's keep it a buck things are not perfect every day you see what i'm saying so it's like when i give you guys that real side of me or that like relatable side of me it's it's look down on or you guys complain about it. and if this doesn't apply of course let it fly but for those who do feel that way it's just kind of like what do you want so i have i'm a lot more conscious i can't say the word again oh my god about the stuff that i rant about and share if you guys i mean i don't know if you guys have noticed but like I literally vlog and kind of just keep it cute now. I don't really feel like I need to like tell you guys everything, which I never even told you guys a lot like about my life. I was just venting about what I thought was everyday things that I thought we all go through. So yeah, I just kind of like will rant in my vlog and edit it out. I'm gonna just keep it a book with you. And there's just a lot of things that I just don't even bother sharing. So um, yeah, that's something that has has um made me self-conscious because i feel like i feel like when people start to misconstrue your words it starts people start questioning your character people start creating this narrative about you and it's just like dang all i said was the gas prices was high now i'm broke shouldn't be driving my car shouldn't be leaving the house and i need to be working more because i complained that gas prices is five dollars you see what i'm saying like that don't make no sense so i just you know Keep it cute, keep it cute, keep it cute, keep it cute, keep it cute. So that's like one thing, but like body wise and like face wise and all that, I am who I am. And if I don't love me, who else gonna love me? Okay. Oh, someone said, how do you plan content? So, um, I don't. <laughs> um, I kind of have an idea. I always have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not a great planner, unfortunately. But guess what? I'm working on it. I am going to be doing an updated video on that, but recently I have been waking up earlier. I've kind of been like um, prepping my wigs or like my outfits or whatever the night before so that I have an idea of where I'm going because I, I was getting to a point where I was like super overwhelmed, like to the point where like I just wanted to like stay in the bed. I didn't even want to get up and do the content because I'm like, girl, you got so much to do. It's not even going to get done. So I have been a little bit more structured. I haven't gotten to a point where I actually plan or have a planner, which somebody also asked me if I have a planner and which one. I do not. Well, I do. I just haven't used it. So just stay tuned for that. I will be giving you guys, um, when I get the hang of it, a more updated um, version of how I plan my day-to-day -day life. And I and I really do need to start planning because again, I work full-time as a makeup artist. I'm doing this full-time, so I need to have some kind of structure. I will say though that my first step was to start getting up earlier. And I'm noticing there's 24 hours is more than enough hours in the day to get stuff done. I used to feel so overwhelmed because I'm like, I'm waking up at 10 and 11 and I'm expecting to get all these things done in this small amount of time and it's just not realistic. So definitely waking up before 8 o'clock or like 8 o'clock has been a lot better. I don't have a like wake up time. I'm working on that because some days I wake up and I'm like, girl, you don't have to wake up. What is you waking up for? You don't have to clock in. You don't got to wake up. But like I need to work on that and get out of that mindset. So yeah, that's that's that, honey. So this is going to be the last YouTube question because I've pretty much answered most of them. Some of them are like repetitive. But um, someone said cooking vlogs in the future. Y'all, I do not cook. Okay, like it's really bad. But I, I actually am going to the grocery store at the end of my day today. Um, because I'm like, I'm just so tired of eating out. But I just be so busy. I don't have time to cook. And then um, my mom literally lives like down the street from me not even a whole block away from me so when she be cooking i'll just go to dinner we eat dinner and i come home like it's just that's just what i've been doing but i do need to get in the habit of like making dinner and when i do start cooking um i will definitely include you guys in that because i vlog weekly so that will be a part of that i won't do like just cooking vlogs i will probably incorporate it into my vlogs unless i just really enjoy cooking that much because i'm like that i'm if i once i like something there's no stopping me like I over obsess. So if I really enjoy cooking and trying different things, then I will probably do like a little food segment or something because your girl is versatile. OK, and I can cook. I just don't like to cook and I never know what to cook like ugh. the personal questions. Everybody's asking, do I enjoy living alone? I love it. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love waking up and not hearing my mother yelling at my brother and sister. <laughs> I love waking up at my own time. I love waking up and things still being in the same place that I left it. I just love my space and I, I love it. I mean, I do kind of miss being at home because I'm so used to that. But like overall, like I genuinely love living by myself. So yeah, it's been really good. I thought I was going to be scared because I'm like a really scary person and like paranoid person. But I really, really do like living on my own. 10 out of 10 would recommend, except the bills. Wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Are you done decorating your apartment? Girl, no. I am not done decorating my apartment. I am not, okay? And I'm actually working on it. If you guys have seen my vlogs, you guys saw I was kind of like going through some things mentally. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on between like, I don't want to give a timeline, but there's a lot going on. So that kind of like hindered me from even doing anything. I did nothing but like laid in bed. I recorded when I had to. As you guys can see, my energy has been a lot different. I'm a lot happier. I feel so much better and lighter and I just feel so much better. But at that time, I just had no desire to like record. I had no desire to... I mean, not record, to decorate, to look for stuff, anything. So um, there are some things that I've gotten for my apartment that I haven't shown because I really don't want to do like these little itty bitty updates. Like, oh my God, I got a lamp for my room. Oh my God, I got a rug. Like, I just want to do like a full bedroom tour or a full living room tour, a few beauty room tour. If I decide to do that, that will be what that is. So to answer your question, no, but I like definitely have furniture and stuff. Like my house is furnished. It's just not finished. It's not completely finished you guys how do you like living in atl do you see yourself living anywhere else mm, i like atlanta i do um i think it's like a perfect place to live if we're being honest like atlanta's lit you know what i'm saying i'm not a very lit girl i'm not a fun girl i'm not a party girl but i have the option to be that girl if i want to be um but i think atlanta's perfect and i say that because like I don't live in like the city. I kind of live on the outskirts part of Atlanta. So I get the best of both worlds. I get to like be a little off the radar. And if I want to pop out, I could pop out. So I really do enjoy Atlanta. Um, would I live anywhere else? I kind of like, okay, so I kind of be on the fence. Like I kind of want to live like in LA sometimes. And then like, I kind of think about, I've never been to Texas, but like something keeps telling me to like go to Texas and see what it's talking about. But like overall, I think what that is, and then the other day I was like, oh, I could be a New York girl giving sex in the city vibes. But I think all that is, is that I need to just travel and experience different places and just come back home. So I most likely will be in Atlanta for forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know where... Um, my future, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Also asks, life in Atlanta, what do you do to get out of your funk, pet peeves, and ultimate goals? So, um, I don't really have a life in Atlanta. I see my friends when I see my friends, and that's that. How do I get out of my funks? I sleep it out, okay? That's all I can do. But also, YouTube is a very good outlet. Girl, there's lights. Got me seeing stars, honey. Um, but also... Having this platform, although sometimes it is kind of hard to film and put out content when I'm in a funk, sometimes after filming, I feel so good. I feel so refreshed. It's just like, I'm glad I have this outlet to be able to like um, release any feelings. You know what I'm saying? This is like my creative side and all that. So yeah. And then what was that? Pet peeves. I have a lot of them, girl. We're not even going to go there. And then ultimate goal get rich or die trying like i'm kidding but like i'm not kidding okay. okay so somebody asked what's your dating life like do you date or use dating apps so we're gonna um answer that backwards no i do not use dating apps i'm sorry they're just not for me personally like they're just not for me i would prefer to meet somebody the organic old-fashioned way i'm not even mad at a dm on instagram but i just physically and i'm not knocking this because i actually know a lot of people who have met their freaking soulmates and have gotten married and been in long-term relationships off of dating apps but i natasha cannot physically sign up for a dating app 
and use it unfortunately um maybe one day in the future i don't know but like as of now i just don't have it in me to do that so yeah do i date i do date i do ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say some BS. <laughs> I do date. I do go out on dates and stuff, but like, I just, I just, it's just ghetto out here, okay? It's just very, very, very ghetto. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get into that. I feel like this is this is one of them questions where I know y'all want me to give you tea and stuff, but like, I just don't want to say too much about my personal life like that but yeah and then what else what's your dating life like it's very up and down it's, it's very uninteresting it's not that fun okay so let me give y'all the tea about about what my dating life is like so you have to realize i'm 28 right so this can go one or two ways um I'm just gonna give you one, not scenario but this can go one way so at 28 i'm most likely dating somebody that's 30 plus um, or, you know, we're hitting 30, so a lot of guys are looking at you not to, like, really date you and get to know you. You're, they're looking at you like wife, mother. So, like, a lot of times, I feel like when you start dating, you're getting pressured into, like, being this, this, um, I don't know. It's just really weird because a lot of guys at this age want to, well, the guy that I have met or I even have guy friends or whatever that I come across, they want to just get married. They feel like I'm 30 now, I'm supposed to be married, I'm supposed to be a father, and that's all they're looking at you like. But for a girl like me, I'm just now at the peak of my career. I haven't really like, I haven't had a lot of dating experience. Like I know everybody thinks like, oh my God, Tasha, you've always had a boyfriend. Yeah, no girl, like, <laughs> no. But um, I haven't really, ex I don't have a lot of dating experience. So like I'm at a phase in my life where like, I just genuinely want to date. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to commit right now. Obviously if I met like the right person, then that's just what it is. But I'm not, this is going to sound so bad, but I'm not dating to marry right now. And I do want to get married. That does clarify. I do want to get married, but I'm not, the, okay, let me, let me put it like this. I don't see a guy and say husband, but I do know people right now who are in that phase and they're like, girl, that's going to be my husband. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to know people. I want to learn them, have a build a bond with them, build a relationship. Like I want to build to that. That's what I think that is. And I think right now a lot of people are against, again, this imaginary time clock where they just want to get married and have kids and that's it. I'm about to be 30, so that that's it. That's what it got to be. And I'm like, no, like I don't even know you. I don't even know what your favorite color is and you over here trying to do all that. No. Skirt, skirt, skirt. But yeah, so anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the whole dating thing. Um, next question. And um, I'm going to go on a little rant, okay? Here we go. Somebody asks, are you pregnant? First of all, you just call me fat. I may subconsciously be self-conscious but you just call me fat okay because somebody had commented on my picture and asked the same thing um that's number one number two um i've never ever 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 been a skinny girl i've never portrayed a skinny girl i've never portrayed this super snatched slim thing so like we know i have a gut you know what i'm saying we know that i'm a little thick okay so Asking if I'm pregnant is just really just like, really just, <laughs> um, so yeah, but no, I'm not pregnant. Number two, that is a very rude question to ask because you don't know, as a woman, you don't know if I've been trying to get pregnant, you don't know if I just had a pregnancy or I've had complications or you don't know what I may have been through. So for you to ask somebody that can be very, very triggering. So I'm here to tell you guys, do not ask woman that, okay? You don't know. People have been trying to get pregnant, can't get pregnant. And here you go, are you pregnant? And they're like, damn, damn. So yeah. And then lastly, I feel like, you know, and I see this a lot on social media with celebrities. They get a bad angle or they gain a little weight and it's like, oh, she's pregnant, she's pregnant, she's pregnant. She may be, but she doesn't want to tell you. Okay, so it's like if somebody hasn't announced that, let it be. If she's pregnant, she will reveal that when it's time 
or whatever. People don't have to share everything with you. So do not ask nobody if they're pregnant for those three reasons. You're calling them fat. They could be having, it could be a trigger. And three, they are just not ready to reveal those things with you. So don't you ever in your life ask nobody if they're pregnant, okay? Even if they stomach rounding out today, don't ask them no double ask questions like that, okay? So that's all I have to say about that, okay? Okay, somebody asked me pet peeves in relationships and I would say my biggest pet peeve is insecurity and I say this because I know everybody has their insecurities but I say this because Natasha when Natasha decides to commit to somebody or be with somebody that is what that is nobody else exists I'm not a cheater nothing like that once I and because your girl don't be tied down so if I decide to be with you that is what that is. So the constant like um, accusations of you texting somebody, being with somebody, this and that, I don't like that. And that will literally push me away. So yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so this next question, do you feel pressure to get your body done? No, I get this question all the time, every day. Oh my gosh, like, I know you didn't mean well, but this is my thing, and again, I may be overthinking it, could be a self-conscious thing, I don't know. But I feel like if I had a nice body, I would not be getting that question, do do I ever want my body, do I want my body done? You're asking me that because I'm, I'm not going to use the F word because I'm thick, okay? That's why you're asking that because I don't have, ooh. Ooh, I put my freaking gloss on and my lips dry as hell. Anyways, yeah, I feel like if I have a nice body, nice body, I would not be getting asked that question every day. So like, you know, people ask that question and then try to be like, but I think you look beautiful, but I think you look great, but I love you. You know, say it with your chest, you know what I'm saying? But uh, no, I do not feel pressure to get my body done. Let me just say it like this. So I'm not gonna say I would never get my body done because I never wanna say never because you never know. I change my mind, I'm a Libra, that's what we do, we're indecisive, okay? We always change our minds, it's the air sign thing, you know what I'm saying? But um, this is the thing, I genuinely want to have a healthier, more fit, more routine lifestyle before I ever even think about that. So like, I just feel like it does not make any sense to Flat iron, curl iron. It does not make any sense to get my body done if I'm still going to be eating bad, if I'm still not going to be working out or at least have a healthy lifestyle or diet or something. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to end up looking like Donkey Kong. I'm going to be all swollen, big, waist kind of snatched, but like looking like I'm going to bust out. Like that does not make any sense. So that is just my mindset on it. I'm not saying I would never, but I am going to say I do not feel pressured to get work done because I see it on social media or anything like that. Like that's just never been my thing. I see a lot of things. Look at my lips, you guys. They're like, you know when they're dry and you put gloss on them? It looks like peely. But yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, I don't feel pressured to do it, but that doesn't mean I would never do it, but that doesn't mean I'm going to do it, okay? <laughs> I'm just me. I'm actually like comfortable in my body. Like I said, I do really wish that I like the gym, I wish that I ate healthier, and that's something that I do want to, that's like one of my, I guess you would say New Year's goals, how typical, right? I do wanna form a healthier lifestyle because I feel like, not even just physically, I feel like mentally, it, it does a lot for you. Like even just me waking up earlier, I feel so much better, I feel more refreshed, I feel I have more energy. So if I was to incorporate a healthier diet and even like working out, I'm thinking about yoga, I know it's not like an intense workout, but I've been thinking about yoga. If I was to incorporate those things, it's all gonna just, it's like a domino effect. It's all gonna fall into place. My mental is gonna be well, my physical is gonna be well, and I'm gonna look great. And it would even like help with my skin, I feel like. if I If I feel good, I'm going to look good, so. That's my little rant to rant on that. Someone asked, can we get a video with you, Ju, and Aaliyah? Y'all are funny. I actually am planning a video with two of them. Um, but our schedules are just kind of, and I'm always kind of. <laughs> so someone said, were you raised in a Jamaican household? If so, how was it? I was raised in a Jamaican household. Uh, I don't really have any, like, I can't tell you how was it because, like, that was my life i don't have like an experience like does that make it 
I, how can I explain this? I don't really know how to answer that. Maybe, if, okay, okay, let me say this, let me say this. If you were raised in a Jamaican household, let me know what your experience was and maybe I could piggyback off of that. I can't think of specifics that would be like different from like my, my friend's upbringing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my mama's loud, you know what I'm saying? She yelled a lot, but what mama don't, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, I really can't think of anything. Honestly, that's really bad, but I just feel like um, I need to spray my face. It's looking a little too matte. I feel like I did have a pretty good upbringing. Um, my mom always instilled in me certain things, so they stuck with me, you know? And what is my favorite Jamaican dish? What you think? What do you think my favorite Jamaican dish is? What you think? My favorite Jamaican dish is oxtail. Duh. <laughs> and then I don't know if you guys know this dish called, the fish is called red herring, but we call it rhetoric. And it's like this like fish and it's like stewed down with like tomatoes, onions, and you eat it with plantains. And it's just really good. It's like, um, I don't want to call it that because I don't want to get dragged. But it's like one of them them dishes. It's like a like a like a like a like a. It's not um very upscale. It's okay. It's it's comparable to eating like sardines and crackers. You know, saying that that meal, that broke meal. Okay, but it's so good. Like I love it. So those are my two favorite. <laughs> so I'm gonna answer two more questions and we're gonna call it a day. Somebody asks, how do I stay so grounded and genuine? I'm a breath of fresh air. I'm just myself on here. Um, honestly, I'm not like into no fake stuff. I feel like, I look at it like this. When you come on social media and you have a platform, people automatically think that you want to be Holly. I mean, that's some people's goal. But some people think that you're like Hollywood or you think that you're better than people, whatever the case. Um, not I. I'm a regular girl, okay, showcasing my regular life. So... I'm just me and I feel like if this is going to be my job long term, I'm not about to be putting on an act. I'm not going to pretend that I'm living this um, extravagant life or I'm not going to pretend that I'm living this I'm not going to pretend anything like uh, I am me. So this is what you're going to get. Okay, you're going to get the good days, the bad days, the in between days. And that's just what it is. So I'm glad that you guys think that I am, which I am genuine and I am very grounded, but I'm glad that you guys see that. Makes me happy. Cause you know, YouTube is full of a lot of different caricatures. Why did I cut this so blunt right here? Like what is wrong with me? Oh my God. Dream travel destination. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is gonna sound so basic. I wanna go to Dubai so bad, you guys. Like. I really, really do. I was supposed to go um, for my mom's 50th birthday. We were supposed to go 2020, December 2020. Um, no, no, no. Was it 2020 or 2021? Whatever year she turned 20, that was the year that all this stuff started happening. And like, I don't even think we were allowed to travel to Dubai. I think Dubai was like, uh, nobody can come in and nobody can leave. So um, that was a dub. And my mom honestly wasn't even comfortable with traveling. So that was not a thing. I need to cut this because why the heck is this bang straight across like this? Do y'all see that little like cut right there? Oh my God, I need to like laser that or something. But um, so yeah, but I really want to go there. And when I'm saying I want to go to Dubai, like I want to go to Dubai and experience Dubai. Like I want to shop, okay? I want to drink tea with flakes of gold in it that costs five hundred dollars i want to be in the tallest building um eating the most expensive plate of food like i just want to enjoy myself when i go i don't want to like go on no budget type of thing so like realistically honestly the only person that i would probably the only person that i'll probably go with is my mother i feel like we will be on the same kind of page not my hair sticking out in the back i feel like we will be on the same page so that's still a trip that I want to plan soon and I just want to do it right. So yeah, there's other places, but I feel like the other places are very like doable, like, you know, little island trips, you could book a little flight and just kind of pop out, pop back in. You don't do a lot of shopping, but like when I say I want to go and travel there and just like shop and just experience things, that's what I want to do. Yeah, but that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm going to finish curling my hair 
and I will be back with the completed look or whatever because I actually have this whole tutorial on this look on my channel with my last video so go check that out if you haven't already okay go check it out so guys this is the completed look I'm about to spray a little perfume I've been wearing my um, Dulce & Gabbana the only one it just smells so like fitting Oof, and it goes with the look so it's perfect isn't this so cute so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one Bye.